Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, sir. For the first time in our country, uh, we are experiencing. Please, please, let him. Mantri ji, baiti. Ah. For the first time in our in the history of our country, sir, we are experiencing an age of information overload, which has given rise to the phenomena yeah, of fake news. Yeah. To an extent, okay, okay, the increased okay. use of social media has led to what sociologists and psychologists refer to as echo chamber. Sir, an echo chamber is a metaphorical description of a situation in which beliefs are amplified or reinforced by communication and repetition inside a closed system. By visiting an echo chamber, such as an online forum of similarly prejudiced groups of people, for instance, individuals are able to seek out information which reinforces their existing views potentially as an unconscious exercise of confirmation bias. This may increase political and social polarization and extremism. Sir, the inherent prejudices that people have against Dalits, Adivasis, and religious minorities are further reinforced by their online friend circles who ascribe to the same set of predispositions. This further leads to strengthening of existing biases. Therefore, the operation of the already oppressed class has now been instilled with a reinvigorated sense of resentment and hatred towards the oppressed. Uh, since May 2018, at least 22 people have been lynched and numerous others have been critically injured in mob lynching. Rajaji, time is over. Please conclude. 30 uh, seconds. Conclude. 30 seconds. I, no, no. As an Indian, no, members, we are giving as only an, as an Indian I hang my share Already head in o'clock. shame. Time is over. As, a, as an Indian, I hang my head in shame to admit that mob lynchings are a new kind of hate crime in our country. I appeal to this August House, let us put our heads together and evolve a code of conduct. Let us work out a framework that removes this ugly blot on our great civilization. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Uh